You're watching the award-winning GHS TV, a nationally recognized student television station. up Germantown. It's 38 degrees outside on this Thursday, December 7th. I'm Scarlett Simpson. Here are your top stories this morning. A holiday tradition in Washington, D.C. continues as the Capitol Christmas tree was lit for the first time this holiday season. A sixth grader from Montana assisted Speaker Paul Ryan with lighting the tree. The tree was harvested on November 8th from the Kootenai National Forest. It was brought to the U.S. Capitol and decorated with thousands of ornaments made from recycled materials and handcrafted by Montana communities. The tree will be lit from sundown to 11 p.m. each evening through New Year's Day. Summer may be the last thing on our minds, but it's time to start thinking about summer jobs. December 1st kicked off the application process for Employ Memphis. Employ Memphis gives more than 1,200 teens a paid job over the summer with some of the city's biggest companies. One of the goals of the program is to steer kids away from crime. Teens accepted by Employ must may be placed in work or training positions with pay between $8 and $11 an hour. Thousands of students are expected to apply to the program over the next month. If you want to apply, visit cityofmemphisyouth.org. It's a girl for the Memphis Zoo. The zoo welcomed a new addition to the family this week, a baby Niala. The calf, named Maggie, is the first Niala calf to be born at the zoo since April 2016. Nialas, a member of the antelope family, have been a part of the Memphis Zoo since 1999. Everyone at the zoo has welcomed the small calf with open arms, since no one can deny an adorable animal like her. You can visit Maggie and the other Nialas in the Zambezi River Hippo Camp at the Memphis Zoo. There have been a number of clubs popping up around GHS recently. As Wake Up Germantown reporter Christian Powell, videographer Jalen Dodson, and editor Lundell Simmons found out, these clubs give students a new outlet for their creativity. It's crazy if you don't put the weapon down. Leave me alone. Yeah, I mean, Leave me alone. Do not come any closer. Germantown High School has seen a lot of change over the years. With the addition of educational programs to new renovations, the variety of clubs offered to students has changed as well. From anime and health to rockets, there's a club for everyone at GHS. Rocket Club, for example, started because of a simple thought. Over the summer, I thought, you know what? I've been building rockets for a long time. Why not a rocket club? It's inexpensive, you know, 25 bucks a pop. and we can have six to seven to eight firings and they can build rockets. Everyone here gets along and we all have different ideas, but we still can come together and make one thing. Fiber Arts Club, another new club, also had a simple start with the yarn collection, needles, and a good purpose. I don't think very many people do fiber arts around. It's a, it's a dying art. Students and club sponsor Mrs. Gales work year-round to support local hospitals in need of knitted items. Students and I, when we learn how to crochet and knit, bringing blankets to the Laboner or, or uh, chemo caps to kids in cancer would be an excellent way for Germantown to help contribute. Since Laboner have a lot of sick people, I would like to give people what they don't have and just be, like, be happy. Personally, it's pride. Knowing that I can help someone else that are in need just gives me self-pride. Skills learned in high school clubs can have a huge impact on a student's future careers. Take Skills USA Criminal Justice, for example. We are working with Officer True to do real-life scenarios with cop stops and also real-life scenarios with crime scenes and helping figure out why this crime happened, when this crime happened, and how to solve it. What it does, it gives the opportunity for each one of the students to actually see what, it, uh, what a particular police officer has to do on a daily basis. 
The hard work and dedication sponsors and members put Sir. into each of the clubs here at GHS allow the students to learn and benefit from the club. My favorite thing has got to be the, uh, the passion that every student has to like participate, to want to do something in it. Reporting for Wake Up Germantown, I'm Christian Powell. I'm Raina Katko with today's 24 frame trivia question and your chance to win two free Malco movie passes. In Pitch Perfect 3, after the highs of winning the world championship, the Bellas find themselves split apart and discovering there are no job prospects for making music with your mouth. But when they get the chance to reunite at an overseas USO tour, this group of awesome nerds will come together to make some music and some questionable decisions one last time. Pitch Perfect 3 comes out December 22nd. And now for today's question. What musician makes a cameo in Pitch Perfect 3? Is it A, Usher, B, DJ Khaled, or C, Snoop Dogg? Think you know the answer? Write your name, phone number, first period teacher, and the correct answer on a sheet of paper and turn it into the contest box in C office by 2.30 today. And now for today's viral video. A car wash takes its employee for a spin. That's it for me. I'm Raina Katko and I'll see you at the movies. Hey, I'm Rachel Christofferson here with another Moments in History. On this day in 1941, in the midst of World War II, more than 350 Japanese warplanes descended on U.S. Navy base Pearl Harbor in a ferocious attack. 2,400 people were killed in this attack, most of them military personnel and the rest civilians. Also on this day in 1972, Apollo 17 was launched from Cape Canaveral. It was the final mission of NASA's Apollo program and the last U.S. moon mission. That's it for Moments in History. I'm Rachel Christofferson. It's time for another edition of Tech Talk. I'm Rodney McKinnon. With the holidays just a weeks away, we have even more gifts for you. First up today is the Alt Workstation, the newest chair desk combination to create the most comfortable working environment. It allows full customization of where your computer is placed, alongside your chair to make the most out of your desk. Next, we have the Alley Camera. This camera is able to capture everything you see and turn into a 360-degree video or photo. You are able to share and upload it to Facebook and YouTube. That's all for this edition of Tech Talk. I'm Rodney McKinnon. Now here's Alan Tony with today's school news. Thanks, Rodney. Congratulations to yesterday's movie of trivia winner, Shelby McNulty, who correctly answered that Matt Damon starred in Saving Private Ryan. She wins two free movie passes courtesy of Malco Theaters and GHS TV. Tomorrow is Student Appreciation Day for PTSA members. You can get your free Marco's Pizza during lunch in MGM. Also, students, tomorrow is the, last, is the last library checkout day of the semester. Please return all library books that are currently out. Anyone returning a book on Friday will receive a Christmas treat. Please see Mrs. Author to collect your award. If you're interested in joining Japanese Club, stop by Mr. Fraser's room C219 for more information. Club dues are $7. And finally, today's lunch will include cheese bread with marinara, chicken sandwich, entree salad, fresh fruit, chilled fruit cup, and milk. That's all the school news for today. Scarlett, back to you. Thanks, Alan. Now let's get an update on the world of sports, both here in Germantown and beyond. Ryan Coleman has today's sports report.
Hey guys, last night the Memphis Grizzlies traveled to the Big Apple to battle the New York Knicks. Early in the first quarter, the Grizzlies showed many promising plays, making basket after basket, upsetting New York. But sadly, Memphis couldn't withhold their momentum. Turnovers shifted the lead multiple times, but throughout it all, the Knicks seemed to have a better team coordination, putting New York up throughout the game. Marcus Gasol tried to pull the team up with 17 points, but he was shut down, unfortunately. Final score, 88 to 99, Knicks win. Moving on, ever wanted to know what the top high school football stars do after regular season? Well, play more football, of course. All week, the top players from more than 25 public and private schools around the county have been practicing for the AutoZone High School All-Star Game. Our very own Ted Lyons was named to the blue team this year. This finale is for the best of the best to showcase talent, grit, and determination in front of lots of college scouts. Yesterday, I caught up with some of the players and a scout to talk about the importance of this postseason game. Right now, we're at school on the uh, Division I FCS level up in Johnson City. Really, uh, with the guy, we just had about 29 people leave our senior class. So really, we're looking for positions all over the place. So uh, we just actually got a commitment at quarterback. Uh, we're looking for uh, an offensive uh, guard center type guy. Uh, looking for definitely a dynamic receiver. And then in the back end, we definitely need a safety uh, linebacker. And we got a big need to do this a tackle. I mean, competition level out here is like uh, beyond everything I expected out here. Uh, I don't want to play football, but I also be able to get my education with a four-year institution where I can grow as a person, as a man, and as a football player. The AutoZone All-Star Game is this Saturday, 7 p.m. sharp at MUS. So get out there and support the Red Devil football players. That's all for me in the world of sports. Scarlett, back to you. Brian, what a great opportunity for our fellow student. Yeah, there is a lot of great amount of talent from the area representing their respective school and a lot from our 6A district. I'm looking forward to this finale. It's great to know that Shelby County is being represented. Thanks, Ryan. We all know the classic 1937 Disney film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. How much Disney trivia do you know? Can you name all of the Walt Disney's seven witty dwarves? Measy, Happy, Bashful, no, Bashful, Doc, Grumpy. Happy, Bashful, Grumpy, Doc. Um, Sleepy, Drowsy, Grumpy. Oh uh, yeah, the uh, Seven Dwarves, ain't they like uh, Grumpy? Uh, you know, Sleepy, Juliet, uh, the Beast from, you know, Beauty and the Beast. There's Doc, Bashful, Sleepy, Sneezy, Happy, and that's it. All right, it's um, Doc, Bashful, Sneezy, and Sleazy. Taking a look at this weekend's weather, Friday will be partly cloudy and quite nippy with a high of 44 degrees and a low of 32. Saturday, expect partly cloudy skies with a high peaking at 47 degrees and a low falling down to 29. That's all the news from around the world and here at home. From all of us here at GHS-TV, have a great day. For those who wish to participate, please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In accordance with state law, Germantown High School will now observe a moment of silence. Thank you, and have a great day.